In this video, we are discussing 15 things you can do to earn some extra money while you are in college and learning to code. There are a lot of options available and not everything suits everyone. So I have ordered them on the basis of my interpretation of their level of skills required, time commitment and potential initial income. So you are going to see starting from the easiest to the hardest and which can make you from average to very handsome amount of incomes. So let's start with our number one which is close communities. You all must have heard about Quora. So Quora have launched their Quora Plus program where you can create a closed community around a topic, for example, Python programming, and then you can monetize all the views that you get on the post. Another way is having Discord private channels or having Twitter ticket spaces, which is the first way to monetize a Twitter space. Moving on to the number two are the coding competition. I know you might have seen all the different uh, coding websites and they don't pay you for like in the coding competitions. But if you look out, for the coding competitions that happen in your college or other colleges they mostly have cash prizes so you can always look out for those for some extra income on the number three we have the teaching support you can become a teaching assistant for all the offline and online uh, coding platforms like, or you can check out the website check and you can become a question answer expert and you can get uh, some extra bucks every time you answer any question Moving on to the number four, if you know Python, uh, making some Python boards for some small businesses can be a good way to earn some extra money. Discord, WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, crypto and trading boards or Selenium and automation boards. You can try it out and you can sell it to the small businesses which operate only on Instagram and WhatsApp and it can be really boost their business. Moving on to the number five, which is creating a course. I know, I know, it takes a lot of efforts and it is a huge time commitment. Once you make an amazing course which is actually able to help other people, then the sky is the limit. You can just make a course and post it on Teachable or Coursera, Udemy, anywhere you like. Anyone can buy anywhere from the world. You can buy it 10 years later and I will still have a source of passive income. Isn't that amazing? Moreover, moving to the number 6 is being a content creator. So as this content creator economy is booming, all the different websites like geek for geeks Unacademy, WBitScaler, all they are starting their own YouTube channel so that when their tribe is searching for the content, uh, they can be seen. So there's the scarcity of the people who are actually able to come in front of camera and speak. So here what you can do, you can offer your service as a content creator where they can provide you a script and you can talk about it and develop some camera facing skills as well as earn some extra money. And talking about this content boom opportunity, there is another amazing opportunity by geeks for geeks They have launched their Code India Code Challenge, which is coding challenge for everyone. If you can code, you can participate in the challenge and you stand a chance of winning prizes worth more than 7 lakh rupees. And here are the prizes for the different rank from 1 to 200. The first round is on 6th March. So these are the rules that you have to follow. This is an amazing opportunity for you all. Just try your hands on it because it is free of cost. The link is in the description. Go and apply right now. And you can comment down below if you have applied. I'm going to see that. Then moving on to the number seven, if you have some enough experience about say Python, then you can start making games using different modules like PyGame. And then there are a lot of different marketplaces, probably you can see them here, where you can actually sell the HTML games, which are very simple and yet very refreshing. Moving on to the number eight, teaching. Life with companies. So we have talked about content creation, but teaching life with companies is another thing that you can do. A lot of companies are stepping into this thing of life cohorts right now. So companies like Unacademy, Coding Ninjas, Interview Bit, Geek for Geeks, they all have different courses that are live and you have to teach them live. So you can apply and and they really pay a handsome amount if you are good at it. Also, you can teach with companies uh, focusing on high schoolers because they also have coding in their uh, slavers now. So you can work with companies like Byju's and Whitehead Juniors. Then the next point is giving tuitions. It is a little different with the live tuitions because at that time you were working with a company, but now you can directly teach to the students who are in your neighborhood. Or you can go to these different websites where you can ask students to hire you for teaching them. The next thing on my list is having your own YouTube channel or vlog. You have worked with company, you have teached people live, you have given tuitions. Now you can uh, make your own YouTube channel or blog. It is 
little difficult in the start and very intimidating because you don't see a lot of results in the start but it is definitely worth it so a lot of the examples that you can see are these youtube channels that have done extremely well you can make your own blog website or you can use platforms like medium or blogger where they can monetize your content and help you grow with their existing audience and if you are choosing to make your own blog you can always monetize it using adsense or media.net and yeah you will be ready to go let's move on to the next one are interested in machine learning and artificial intelligence different models and a lot of stuff then you can actually make machine learning models and sell them on different marketplaces and there is actually a lot of demand for a good data set that does a particular thing very well uh, for example detecting uh, people in crowd who are falling and here are some websites where you can sell those and we are left with the last three the last third is freelancing so with freelancing you can be everything you want basically if you know python you can have gigs about automation using different modules like pygame or numpy or you know a uh, beautiful soup then you can be a django developer a data science developer script devil or a lot of different stuff so basically it it all comes down to what you have done till now and how well you are able to sell that information on different platforms for freelancing i will highly recommend you to reach out to people on linkedin instead of going to on these platforms like upwork and fiverr because it is very intimidating and saturated for the beginners and uh, i don't really think that it will work very well for you if you are beginning right now so definitely check out linkedin and there are a lot of people amazing people who are teaching how to freelance on linkedin so do follow them so the last second on our list is startups obviously and moreover if you are not making one you can always start working for a startup and so uh, there are a lot of websites that help you connect with different startups websites like angelist so there you can find all the jobs opening that are uh, that are there on different startup and with all their funding and what are their ideas and how many team members are there definitely go check it out it is the best kind of experience you get as a college student and the last option which most of the people aim for is to get a job and all these things that we have listed till now is going to help you create an amazing resume and build your port uh, portfolio to get the amazing job that you want these were all the things did i miss something you can tell me in the comments below also tell me what are the next video topics you want on the channel and i will see you all super soon